If you want to install the latest Windows 11 25 age to update on your PC, then here's a complete step-by-step -step guide showing how you can easily create a bootable USB and install Windows 11 25 age 2 using a free tool called Rufus. This method is safe, simple and works perfectly on most Windows 10 systems. So first, open your browser and search for Windows 11 ISO download. Now click on the first official Microsoft link that appears. Now scroll down to where it says download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Click the drop down. Choose Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO. Then click on Download Now. Then select your product language. And make sure it's the same language as your current Windows 10. Now click Confirm. Then select 64 bit download. When the Save As screen appears, save it wherever you want. Then you will see that it has started downloading and you will have to wait until it is downloaded. I am not downloading it anymore because as you can see I already have it downloaded. Once your ISO file is ready, open a new browser tab. Now search for Rufus. And click on the first official website. Now scroll down a bit and click on rufus4.11.exe. It's a small file and will download quickly. When downloaded, open it. Now click on Yes. It may ask, do you want to allow Rufus to check for updates online? Click Yes. Soon the Rufus window will appear. Now you will need a USB drive. Plug it into your computer. Make sure it's at least 8 GB or more and doesn't contain any important files because everything will be erased during the process. Now at the top, you will see the device section. Select your USB drive. Then under boot selection, click select and choose the Windows 11 25 age to ISO you downloaded. Now check the partition scheme. You will see two options, GPT and MBR. To choose correctly, open Windows Search and type System Information or MS Info and open it. Under BIOS mode, it will show either UEFI or Legacy. If it says UEFI, choose GPT in Rufus. If it says Legacy, choose MBR. In my case, it's UEFI, so I will select GPT. You can also rename the volume level to something like Windows 11 25 H2 if you want. Once done, click Start. Now you will see a new window called Customize Windows Installation. Here you can review several optional setup preferences that Rufus provides, such as system checks, account type and privacy settings. You can keep the default recommendations selected for a smoother installation experience. Now create a local account name. For example, I will type ARB. Now set regional option the same as the current user. Disable data collection. I will also keep it selected. Disable bid locker automatic encryption. Select this as well. After reviewing everything, click OK. A warning will appear saying that all data on the USB will be erased. Make sure the USB doesn't contain any important files. Once confirmed, click OK. 
and Rufus will start creating the installation USB. Wait until the process is complete. Once you see ready highlighted in green, that means your bootable USB has been successfully created. Now open file explorer and you will notice that your USB drive has been renamed with Windows 11 label. This means it already contains all the set of files needed for installation. Next open your USB and double click on setup.exe. Click yes. Now the Windows 11 installation screen will appear. Simply click on next and then follow the on screen instructions. Just accept the license terms to continue. Now Windows will start checking for updates. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. So just keep patience. Once it's done, you will arrive at the ready to install screen. Here you can review your installation preferences. For example, whether you want to keep your files and apps or do a completely clean installation. After confirming your choice, click install. Now as you can see, Windows 11 installation has started. This process may take 15 to 30 minutes depending on your system speed. So be patient and don't run off your PC during the process. Once it's finished, you will be greeted with the brand new Windows 11 25H2 setup screen. Clean, modern and updated. After completing the setup, your desktop will load with the latest Windows 11 25H2 version. To confirm, go to Settings. Then go to System. Now click on About. And there you will clearly see version 25H2 listed under Windows Specifications. And that's it. Now you know how to install or upgrade to Windows 11 25H2 using Rufus in just a few easy steps. Whether you are upgrading from Windows 10 or doing a clean setup. So that's it for today. If this guide helped you then please give it a like, share and subscribe our channel for more tech tutorials and fixes. Your support really motivates me. Thank you. Thanks for watching.